Jed here to demonstrate how to assign a user to an emergency location in GoToAdmin. Doing so will help first responders to have accurate information in the case of an emergency call from that user. Sublocations are important to help with faster emergency response time and call numbers help if the call is inadvertently disconnected. If you do not assign a specific device or user to an emergency location, first responders only have access to the default emergency location. You'll need to be a super admin to complete this task. The administration portal can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as a super admin Sarah Johnson, and this is the homepage. Please note that you may see different icons here, depending on what options are available with your plan. Click the locations icon. Then click the emergency locations heading. This shows the current emergency locations that have been created for your account. Next, select the one you wish to assign a user to. Click the Users tab. Here are the users that are already assigned to this location. Click the Assign Users button. Select the user you wish to add to this emergency location from this drop-down list. If you wanted to, you could select another user at this time. Click this button once you're done. From the Users tab, we can see the individuals we just added. While here, let's talk about sublocations. Let's say that your emergency location is a large building. A sublocation is a more specific location for a user. You can specify something like a specific building, a floor level, or an office number. To create a sublocation, click the desired user. Sublocations are optional, and the fields here can be left empty if desired. Uncheck this box to add information to the fields on this page. Now add your sublocation information. Let's look at the option for override call number. You can only select from these phone numbers registered to your emergency location. That means you cannot, for example, add your cell phone number here. If no unique call number is added, then the callback number assigned to the location will be sent to first responders in an emergency call. Also, the unique callback number will fail if the phone number has not been ported to your account. In my case, I do not currently have another number to choose from. However, if I later added one, I could return to this screen and update this information if desired. Be sure to click Save if you've made any changes. At this point, you can test to ensure that your emergency location information is accurate. From your business phone, dial 933. Then ensure that the information you hear matches the information you have entered. As one final note, please realize that if the user's location changes, you'll need to update the user's emergency location. That's all there is to assign a user to an emergency location.